Hello, Jennifer Toji here again. Day 8 of 31 Days of Horror. Yes. Um, today's another trauma movie. I got this a while back and I said, uh, like, um, a little under a year ago, and I said, I'm going to save it for my 31 Days of Horror. I'm not even going to watch it. It is that special. Yes, it was from a special friend. Mm -hmm. And I just lost my virginity to this movie. Yes. Let's just say I'm glad I waited. For this special time. Yes. Refreshingly ludicrous. And it is a trauma. Also. From the creators. Of South Park. And that is. Cannibal the Musical. Yes. Written and directed by Trey Parker. Yes. Co-creator of South Park. Yep. Starry, um, starring John Schwartz and Matt Stone. Well, I didn't. Uh, Juan Schwartz. Yes. I didn't write who Juan Schwartz is in this movie. I just wrote down the characters that I liked and one that annoyed the hell out of me. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> because I am that way. Yes. Okay, 1993. Yes. I guess this movie had... This movie um, was called... Uh, was called um <clears throat> when, was, 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 when it first went around um <clears throat> it was going around as Alfred Packer mm -hmm. name Alfred Packer on it um, it didn't have the Cannibal the Musical. Yes. Didn't have that name. And everybody had turned down making it. Till they got to trauma. <laughs> mm. Yes. And I must say, trauma brought it. Problem... Uh, uh, Trauma brought the traumaness to this movie. Yes. And that's a good thing for me. Because I am a trauma addict. Yes. Let me fix my midnight hour shirt. Yes. Yes. Um. Yes. It stars. Trey Parker. Matt Stone. Two critters. Critters. Creators and also John Eagle. I wrote down his name because he was um, the funny guy. <clears throat> he kept singing the same song over and over that I enjoyed. Yes. Yeah, so it's all it's about. Cannibal the Musical is the true story of the only person convicted of cannibalism in America. <laughs> Alfred Parker, the sole survivor of an ill-fated trip to the Colorado Territory, who tells his side of the harrowing tale to a news reporter, Polly Pry. <laughs> As he awaits his execution, and his story goes like this. 
while searching for gold and love in the Colorado Territory. He and his companions lost their way and resorted to unthinkable horrors, including toe-tapping songs. <laughs> Parker and his five wacky mining buddies sing the dancer ways into your heart and then take a bite of it. Yes. Hannibal is the mute. It, it, the musical is Oklahoma meets Blood Sucking Freaks, which is another favorite of mine. Yes. Brought to you by the Troma team and Trey Parker, the Rogers and Hammerstein of horror. Yes. I'm a fan of musicals. I know who Rogers and Hammerstein are. <laughs> <coughs> Um, yes, uh, I tell you, there's, a uh, Matt Stone plays James, James Humphrey, a nerd. I tell you what, I usually love the nerds, but he was so damn annoying in this movie. <laughs> Matt Stone, and I think that's what he was going for. Yes, he was going for uh, the annoying nerd. <laughs> yes, um, and he did his job well, I'll say. Yes, um, after the first person <clears throat> dies, um, Humphrey says, Wait, you're cutting me into his butt. And then somebody they called the butcher who's traveling with them says, What kind of piece do you want? And Humphrey says, Not butt. Oh, man. It's just a uh, whine, whining. Uh, the whining he does in that movie. This movie is horrible. <laughs> but again, I think he was going for that. Yes. Um and then we've got John Hegel playing Israel Swan who keeps going all 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 the way through this movie. It just keeps going. Um no matter they're walking through the snow. They're hungry. Their their food has disappeared. Yes, with their their man that is supposed to be put bringing them to the right place. His horse. Once he misses, once his horse runs away. Yes. Um. Uh, he's, um, yes, um, they're going, they don't know where they're going, and every time they stop, Israel Swan starts singing, let's build the snowman, <laughs> my goodness, I would have killed him first too, <laughs> Another favorite song of mine on here was Hang the Bastard. Yes. Where there is a, um, what do you call it? Uh, a cowbell solo. Yes. This movie got a 7 out of 10 on IMDb. I'm going to agree with IMDb today. Yes, I am. So. Have a nice day, everybody. <sighs> yes. I'm beating this cold. <laughs> yep. And farewell.